Hi everyone, my name is Liam and this is Grammar Simple, the channel that makes English grammar simple. All right, today we have an intermediate lesson for you, subject and object questions, specifically using the present simple and the past simple tense. So if you want to learn English grammar, stay tuned. Okay, intermediate English, subject, object, questions, present simple, and past simple. Let's begin. First, we are going to talk about subjects and objects. What are subjects and objects in sentences and questions? In English, the subject of the sentence or question is the thing or person that performs the action of the verb. It is the thing doing the action. Subjects will be in yellow and the verb that does the action will be in blue. Let's see some examples. Easy. Children play. Children is the subject. Play is the verb. So this is a very, very short sentence, but it is a sentence. Why? Because it has a subject and a verb. Children play. So the children do something. What do they do? They play. Children play. So children is the subject and the action is play. The children are doing the action of playing. Next example, writers write. Next example, people, people eat. It's true. I just had dinner. I had a hamburger. It was delicious. So you can see the subjects of the sentences in yellow and the verbs in blue. The reason I am showing you these simple examples is hopefully to allow you to understand that subjects and verbs go together. And sentences can be very short, just a subject and a verb. It's possible. Okay, next rule. In English, the object of a sentence or question is the thing or person that receives the action of the verb. It is the thing having the action done to it. So with a subject, the subject does the action with an object. The object receives the action. Understand? Let's look at some examples. Children play. What do children play? Children play games or children play sports, things like that. So the children do the action and the object in purple games receives the action. 
writers write books. People eat food. So the object of a sentence or question is the thing or person that receives the action. In English, not all sentences and questions need objects. However, all sentences do need subjects. So these are sentences with subject only. But remember, all sentences need a verb, a subject and a verb. Children play, writers write, people eat. Subject and object, children play games, writers write books, people eat food. Okay, so now that we have reviewed a little bit about subjects and objects, let's talk about object questions. In English, when a question word is the object of a present simple question, use the auxiliary verb do or does. So, what are the question words in English? Most common question words, who, what, when, where, how, why, how many, these are common question words. Today, we are going to focus on what and who, because these are the most common question words that we use with object questions at the intermediate level. Let's look at some examples. What do children play? So in this question, the object in purple is what? It's a blank. We don't know what the answer is. But we do know what the subject is, and we do know what the verb is. The subject is children. The verb is play. What do children play? Children play games. So the object is the answer. What do children play? Children play games. And in the sentence, the subject, children, the verb, play, and the object, games. In the question, what, object, do, auxiliary verb, children, subject, play verb, main verb. What do writers write? Writers write books. What do people eat? People eat food. Okay, so far so good. Let's continue. In English, when a question word is the object of a past simple question, use the auxiliary verb did. What did you eat last night? Object, what? Subject, you. What did you eat last night? I ate sushi. Do you know sushi? It's delicious. Japanese food. I love it. Let's look at some more examples. 
What do Canadians celebrate on July 1st? So maybe you know this about me. I am Canadian. So what do Canadians celebrate on July 1st? Canadians celebrate Canada Day on July 1st. It's basically Canada's birthday. Kind of like the 4th of July in the United States. Okay, more examples. Which do you prefer, DC or Marvel? What do you think? Well, for me, I prefer DC because I like Batman. Batman is the best. Okay, another example. What does smoking cause? Smoking causes lung cancer. Yes, not good. What does smoking cause? Smoking causes lung cancer. Okay, question about Liam, me. What did Liam study in university? Liam studied English literature. English literature is the English language and books and mm, philosophy, stories, things like this. I like that kind of stuff a lot. All right, let's change our focus to talk about subject questions now. So in English, when a question word is the subject of a present simple question, do not use do or does. Subject questions do not use do or does. For example, what causes lung cancer? Subject, verb, object. What causes lung cancer? Smoking causes lung cancer. Subject, verb, object. So same rule as the previous example. What does smoking cause? This is the object question. Do you remember the subject question to say something similar? What does smoking cause? Subject question, what causes lung cancer? Notice that smoking, the, the subject, is in the question of the object question. And smoking is not in the question of the subject question. So in the object question, we know what the subject is. The subject is smoking. But we don't know what the action of smoking causes. In the subject question, we do know what 
it causes it causes lung cancer but we don't know what it is what is the cause of the lung cancer so the answer is the same for both what does smoking cause lung cancer what causes lung cancer smoking do you see the difference let's continue and look at more examples in english when a question word is the subject of a past simple question do not use do or does ah who painted the mona lisa i can't remember who painted the mona lisa do you know just kidding i do remember da vinci painted the mona lisa amazing in these examples the verb painted is in past simple okay here i have the answer da vinci subject painted verb the mona lisa object i have a question what did da vinci paint object auxiliary verb subject main verb i have another question who painted the mona lisa subject who painted main verb the mona lisa object are they both correct questions for the answer da vinci painted the mona lisa yes they are both correct questions what did da vinci paint da vinci painted the mona lisa who painted the mona lisa da vinci painted the mona lisa but if you want to give a short answer the answer changes so let's see what did da vinci paint the mona lisa who painted the mona lisa da vinci make sense so which is the object question what do you think the first one or the second one the first one is the object question because the object is the question word and you can see the auxiliary verb did which is the subject question the second one no auxiliary verb and the subject is the question word hi guys just a short interruption please take a second and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it okay thanks so much back to the video okay let's discuss some key points to remember when you ask a question it is important to think 
about who or what you are asking about. For example, are you asking about the doer, the subject of the action, the person or thing that does the action? If yes, use a subject question because the subject does the verb, right? For example, who painted the Mona Lisa? Painted is the action. Who did the painting? Who did the action? Da Vinci did the action of painting. So if you are asking about the person who does the action, use a subject question. Da Vinci. And Da Vinci is the subject who paints. So again, when you ask a question, it is important to think about who or what you are asking about the topic. Are you asking about the receiver or the object of the action? So the opposite of the subject. If yes, use an object question. What did Da Vinci paint? So Da Vinci painted something. What did Da Vinci paint? What received the painting? The Mona Lisa. So if you were asking about the receiver, use an object question. If you are asking about the doer, use a subject question. And in this case, the Mona Lisa is the object. Da Vinci is the subject. Okay, another key point to remember. For subject questions, do not use do, does, or did. Here are two subject questions. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Who did painted the Mona Lisa? Let me ask you, which one do you think is correct? Well, look at the rule. Who painted the Mona Lisa is correct. Who did painted the Mona Lisa, not good, not correct. Another key point for object questions, use do, does, or did. It's good. What does Liam teach? What Liam teach? Which question is correct? What does Liam teach? Okay, guys, that's it for the video today. Hopefully you learned something about subject and object questions. Thank you for watching. Write your comments in the comments section. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Talk to you soon. Bye.